homebound away to leave you shallow oh shallow brown bound away to leave you shallow oh shallow brown hi i've enjoyed singing most of my life and it was sometime in the 60s that i started to enjoy folk music gradually becoming aware of sea shanties I used to enjoy going to folk clubs and singing, but it was not until I retired that I really got into shanties. I joined a local shanty crew and have not looked back since. Not only do I love singing shanties with the rest of the crew, but I love the camaraderie that goes with it and the great times we have. We enjoy each other's company as well as performing our shanties for others to enjoy. I enjoy attending festivals and singing at them, both in this country and abroad. My favourite festival in this country has to be Falmouth, which takes place over a long weekend in the middle of June. Not only do we get to sing a lot, but we meet old friends, both from this country and abroad, and share a great time together. Many shanties are so well known that you can find yourself often singing along, whether you're, you're a shanty singer or not. My favourite festival abroad is Pampol, which t takes place every two years in August. The harbour fills with tall ships, singing, dancing in street theatre, and we always have a great time. I personally find shanties fascinating because originally they were never written down or performed on land. They were sung exclusively at sea, with the shantyman being free to change tempo, length, and even the words to suit the job in hand and the mood the sailors were in. It wasn't until much later when sailing ships were going out of fashion that some people started to collect them and preserve them. Some of these are well documented, others appear as fragments, and I find it fascinating to delve into some of the original records that were collected. Many of these are available online in such places as Cecil Sharp House. In recent years I found myself becoming increasingly interested in such research, slipping in nuggets of information between songs. I have a number of favourite shanties that I really like for all sorts of reasons. Uh, for instance, there's Roll Alabama. Apart from being a great song, it relates to an episode in history when a Confederate warship was illegally built in this country and then eventually met its end off the coast of Cherbourg, watched by many people along the shore or in small boats, including Manet, who painted the scene. Then there's the dead horse shanty and the fascinating ritual that accompanies it when the sailors have finally worked off their first month's pay. Or the Spanish ladies, one of the few sh shanties sung in the Royal Navy because it was a song that helped teach new sailors some of the main navigation points they needed to learn. But I also love moody shanties as well, ones like Shallow Brown, which is more sombre and tells the plight of those slaves in America that were sold off to work aboard ships. It's difficult to say which performers I like best as there are so many out there. I have to say that I prefer those who sing unaccompanied as I feel traditional shanties are best done in this way. However, I do appreciate the value of those performers who do like to accompany their singing as this makes shanties accessible to a wider audience. In the end, it comes down to taste. I have a variety of shanty CDs and I do enjoy those with a variety of singers singing a range of shanties. For anyone new to shanties, I would recommend listening to compilation CDs where you can hear a range of shanties and styles. As a shanty singer, I've enjoyed many memorable moments. It's great to know that what I am doing is bringing pleasure to many people, both in this country and abroad. It's also given me the confidence to write some songs of my own, which I also perform in public. One, called The Shout, we regularly perform at the RNLI headquarters at the naming ceremonies of new lifeboats. One of my most memorable moments was to teach this to a huge audience, who then sang along at their closing concert at Falmouth a few years ago. Also, I have great pleasure and satisfaction in writing concerts that we perform in the winter months. These concerts are made up of readings and shanties following a set theme. Last year we performed a concert around the life of Cicely Fox Smith. 
At the moment I'm working on one about James Madison Carpenter, who collected hundreds of shanties and folk songs in the 1920s and 30s. I'm going to sing one collected by him in Wales, and which does not appear in any other collection that I can find. He only got about five verses, and the others have been added by Bob Walter on his recording. It's called Sociana. Away, hey, we are off tomorrow. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. Tomorrow at the break of day. Walk along, you saucy Anna. We'll fly that flag and we'll sail tomorrow. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. Tomorrow is a sailing day. Walk along, you saucy Anna. Oh, stay at home, oh, stay with me. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. Oh, stay at home, don't go to sea. Oh, walk along, you saucy Anna. I wish I was in old Mobile Bay. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. You know, boys, just how I'd feel. Walk along, you saucy Anna. I'd sit my Anna on my knee. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. I know she'd say I was making free. Walk along, you saucy Anna. I thought I heard the old man say, Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. We're bound away for Mobile Bay. Walk along, you saucy Anna. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. Way, hey, we are off tomorrow. Off tomorrow at the break of day. Walk along, you saucy Anna. shallow brown bound away to leave you shallow oh shallow brown